channels. Uh, we're gonna do it. Oh, don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, welcome to Lewis Loves Bioware. And as the title, you'll be able to tell I do love Bioware. I basically gonna play all the RPGs, not in chronological order I was, but you know I downloaded Dragon Age Origins. And you know what? I love it. So I thought, hey, might as well just do that. Uh, you know, so I haven't got a face cam on. That's because I cannot be bothered with playing this in small screen or uh, dealing with uh, all the like, editing and issues and everything because it's pretty late. So I'm just going to play the game. Just going to play the game. And the so yeah, this is uh, my favourite Bioware game. I'm still looking at the webcam even though you know that. Just seen a, a favourite Bioware game. I'm gonna skip the intro because I can't be asked it. It's not it's not the best. Uh let's go play a dwarf. Uh Dwarven Warrior Dwarven Noble, because it's my favourite Star Wars story. Greetings. Presets. I already have a character sort of sorted out. And I do like I just like how this guy looks. I think I'll change the hair a bit because to be able to properly talk about it to be able to properly I don't know what's going on so we'll do that put some constituency because that's how much damage you can take put some strength you want to put quite a little strength in the book so. well I do anyway here's coercion that's it of course coercion uh, skills. Now, I'm going to be playing mainly with Sword and Shield, so I'm just going to put some Sword and Shield answers. You see, because you know, I'm terrible at video games. <sighs> okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll get a brief introduction. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozamar, the larger of two known remaining Dwarven cities in the world. Ozamar was once the seat of a major empire connected by tunnels called Deep Roads, which stretched thousands of miles. The city now stands alone, cut off from the rest of the dwarven ancestral lands by the Darkspawn incursion. Secure in Ozamar's impregnable construction, the dwarven noble houses continue their centuries-old power struggles. Assassination and blackmail are commonplace, but the appearance of honor is paramount. You are the second child of King Endrin of House Idukan, the ninth Idukan ruler elected by the Noble Assembly. You grew up in a world rife with political intrigue and have struggled against brothers and cousins for honor and prestige. Today, a feast celebrates your first military commission 
the opening move towards real power in the ever-changing game of dwarven politics. Greetings, my lord. You are dressed and ready. Excellent. I couldn't find the armor's matching dagger, but I scrounged up a rather fancy longsword. Do you wish to wear your shield to the noble's feast? Alright. So we get our dialogue options. It's not like in Mass Effect where it's a wheel. Basically you are just given a list of options. And there isn't any morality system here, it's just whether or not the um, your companions approve or disapprove of your um, what you've said and what you do. So uh, I wouldn't even wear the armor if you're not for tradition. I want to sort of play like very common. Why not? Uh, it chafes. That's this brilliant. It chafes. I've never liked the feeling. Get used to it. You'll be wearing that armor a great deal from now on. Mm. Unless, of course, you're killed tomorrow. Can I have your armor then? It'll look good on me. So I'll be friendly to him. You, my friend, already. One can't take all this marching about and speech making too seriously. Moving on to the business at hand. The king expects you to make an appearance at the feast, but there's no rush. The noble family heads will spend hours boring your father with petitions and petty grievances. Part of the celebrations, permits have been auctioned off to members of the merchant caste who wish to sell wares in the Diamond Quarter. Lord Harrowmont has also opened up the provings for young warriors to test their mettle before tomorrow's battle. Perhaps we should go show them what single combat is really all about. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> I'll practice my cheering. Right behind you, my lord. The day is ours until the feast. It's probably actually been there some options at you. Sorry, I'll be doing that from now on. It's uh, just... Yeah, a couple of... Oh. You see, I've got the ultimate edition of this game. So, uh... I, I keep forgetting to... Uh, so basically, uh... I have everything. I basically have every DLC I've made for it. It's pretty good because they're all good. You're only at 20 quid on Steam. It's a pretty good deal. I'll take it all. Because the thing is, you actually sort of want the sh I want the shield anyway. So you get a shield. Okay. So anyway, what I'm going to try and do with this is I'm going to try and do it a bit differently. In that I'm not going to do it like a normal let's play that I do normally. This is going to be sort of a walkthrough as well. So, uh, so I'm gonna have like, uh, try to see, because I played this game loads and I pretty much know it inside and out. So uh, I may in fact do this twice, do it like once, a completely different character, and do all the opposite to what I did last time. So it might be interesting. Okay. First time I ever got through the game was with the Dwarven Noble uh, Warrior as well. So I thought it's a little, it's got a, it's a special, it's very special to me. So 
basically you just quick kiss through everything. Uh, Dwarven society, how it works is with the caste system. It's basically there's different quarters. Your father has allowed the merchants to show their wares in the diamond quarter during these celebrations. It's basically there's the. Uh, I'm sure, we can work this out reasonably. This is not entrance. There's nothing I can do. Please, Mr. Foley. My work is accredited by the Shaper. These books are lies written by the enemies of House Balmy. I write only what I find in the ancient records. Lord Iduk, you can vouch for my work, can't you? Your father loved my history of Iduk and Paragon King, Peacemaker. I agree. Ah, I greatly enjoyed that book as well. This worm has written a book that slanders my house. What does it say? It doesn't matter. It's all lies. Then kill him. My work tells the stories of all those raised to Paragons in the last 500 years. When the assembly names a Paragon, that man or woman is then, by definition, everything one can aspire to be in the world. They form their own noble houses and are revered as living ancestors. Sorry. But Paragons start off as men. Volney was more than a man. Why do they refer to them as men if they're dwarves? It's really they should refer to them as dwarves as they start like they the dwarves. Uh... You're acting like a fool. Am I? Would you allow this coward to slander your ancestors? I have written no slander. Volney became a paragon by the narrowest margin in history. One vote. A vote mired in rumors of intimidation, intrigue, and outright bribery. The records of that vote are kept in the shape of it and are a matter of fact. Not liking history doesn't make it any less true. That scholar is right. You're taking his side? What if he published a book like this about your paragon, I do? You would not say so, so is well your house, price. but I shall respect your wishes. For now, excuse me, your highness. That fool has no idea how weak his house is or how low he sits in it. Shall I have him killed, my lord? Jesus. <laughs> That's pretty grim. Gorim, Christ. It's like, he's a bit annoying, I'll give you that. <laughs> Christ, just go out for outright murder straight away. Uh, he's not worth the blade, leave him be. you say, this is little shown house I do a friend to research, uh, sorry. history, and the glory of our people. Carry on with your work, scholar. Oh. Of course. Heroism and pity for the small man have always been hallmarks of house I do <laughs> Now, I must try to make sense of these notes. Yeah. Good day, Your Highness, and thank you. I may do that a couple of times. No, we're all just next to the thing. So, I was saying something. I was talking about the caste system, yeah. The Dwarves of Caste System, uh, basically, the Diamond Quarters, which we're in right now, is the highest level of Dwarven society. Then there's the Common. Then there is the Common Ground, which is down there. And that's basically the uh, low. And that's like, you know, the Common Ground as well. It's not a um, I don't know what it is. Um, it's like the Undercity, which is where basically the people who have no world society stay. So I pay your exorbitant price only to end up looking like a poor imitation of Prince Balin. <laughs> You'll get no coin from me. But that's not what I meant, my lord. My lord! My lord Idukin. You honor me by visiting my humble booth. May I show you my wares? Of course, Commission. Please, look as you will. So I see that, sir. Christ almighty. Gold. I'm not selling this. Christ. The dragon armor. Yeah. It's not really crap. Okay. I'll buy it, but... Uh, it's a warrior merchant. I'll trust follow, big brother. How surprising to run into you out among the common folk. Especially since duty requires that you attend our King Father at the feast today. Have you so little respect for him to disregard his wishes on a day set aside for you? Lord Harrowmont told me we wouldn't be needed for hours at least. Silence! If I want the opinion of my sibling second, I will ask for it. That's all. Yes, Your Highness. Don't talk to Gorham like... Don't speak to Gorham like that. 
I speak to lower houses and castes as they should be spoken to. Now do as I say. Keep barking orders. I'm sure I'll care someday. Your lack of a sense of duty to your house is obvious. I can't imagine why you're receiving a commission. I expect after tomorrow I'll spend much time apologizing to the heads of the noble houses for the deaths of their children under your incompetent command. Well, that's, out of that's a bit harsh, isn't it, Trian? Yeah, Ben. As heir to the throne, it is my duty to impart wisdom and judgment upon those who need it. Now then, you get to the feast. I'll go and I'll go. Oh, yeah, kiss my kiss my ass, Trian. I'd advise you to watch that tongue, dear sibling. Father will not live forever. Come, Balin. You will you. Spoilers. That was fun. Nothing like being talked down to by the next king. Ignore him. It's my day, not his. That it is. Let's get back to enjoying it, shall we? Okay, so that's basically the case. Is this a, a merchant? Here he is. A weapon merchant who will give you a dagger. Uh, Greetings, my lord, I do it. I am so honored to have you visit my booth. I have a proposition, but I dared not approach. Yet you dare now. It's all right, clear him out. Very well, then. Speak. Um, yes, just so. Here is the thing. What I mean to say is... It's all right. Sorry. So nervous. I had a dagger made for you as a gift for your first command. I uh, sent a messenger to deliver the dagger to you. Prince Trian had him thrown out. I don't know what offense he caused, but I had him beaten severely. Jesus. There's nothing like, that's like, there's nothing like, oh, what, what you beat him, Christ. Well, uh, let me see there. Here, here it is, your highness. That's an amazing piece, merchant. You do me much honor, sir. The blade has been crafted over a period of two years by masters of every art. Christ. I wish to bless the Lord's first command, and hope that someday, when he rules, he will wear it. Tree and his heir. He will rule when King Endrin returns to the stone. If the assembly wills it. Forgive me, sir, but whispers say the second child of Endrin will be chosen. Whispers well, yeah. indeed. It's a princely gift. If Trian recognizes it, though, it may send the wrong message. Or the right one, depending on your view. Yeah, what she, she thinks I'll take. Thank you. You bring uncountable honor to me. What he means is that you'll bring uncountable gold to him if you wear that piece in public. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Basically, it's just an old dagger, but it has uh, electric to it. So it does like a little extra damage. It just looks awesome. So yeah, it's best to get that. For the war of it should just hit. If you do the noble sorrow. You don't get to keep it after the noble sorrow like you should lose all your equipment at the end of it. My it's lord, just... are you heading to the proving arena? I was considering. Yes, I did. We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the proving grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The king decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. Um, quite gay. I did mention the merchants that won permits to show their goods in the Diamond Quarter. There were only so many permits auctioned off, and quite a few were turned away. Your father fears you will be harassed on the way to the Proving. That's silly about... Will we be leaving then? Yeah. We are at your command. So many dwarves without beards. It's bullshit. Oh, gee! Oh! They all survived this room. You don't die in this thing. Jesus Christ. It's pretty harsh. Okay, so I go to this one. Yeah, three to pass. Three to pass. I'll just show you. This is like... We can zoom out. Tactical position. I just thought I might as well show you that now. Your Highness, it is an honor to have you here. Have you come to watch these brave warriors do battle in your honor? No, I've come to fight. Your Highness, this proving is in your honor. 
then honor him by doing as he says. My lord, I do can will fight in this proving. I will honor these warriors by testing their skills. Of course, it is well within your rights. Men and women of Orzammar, we have a late entry to these provings, held on the eve of battle for the honor of House Idukan. I give you the Lord Idukan himself! <laughs> <laughs>